Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a Costco haul. It's my monthly Costco haul. It is payday and the kids are dropped off at the food bank. They have a Empower Place that watches kids for you as long as they're potty trained. So they are dropped off out of my hair. I have about an hour to get shopping and get what I need for the month. And I thought you guys would like to come with me. So let's get into Costco and let's see what I get. everybody welcome to Costco so they normally start as soon as you enter with things that are on sale so they have usually sale items over here on the left and then just extra pallets of stuff up top so I was just kind of scoping seeing what I needed husband doesn't use razors or anything like that um, he did ask for a new trimmer like beard trimmer and face trimmer and stuff for Father's Day so that is what I am on the hunt for and then also just regular supplies as well the fans are officially out on display because it's starting to get hot here lots of houses don't have central air some of them just have like mine only have window units and a couple of the rooms and the rest of the time you count on fans and air circulation to keep your house cold and then they have the portable EC or air conditioners here, which is something that we were talking about getting, um, but it's not really a necessity. We'll kind of just deal with it if we have to, but it's good to know a price on that to see what we need. Um, I don't really get many snacks from here, like beef jerky or anything like that. Um, I don't really, sometimes I get granola bars, but I didn't feel like we need any of that this trip. Uh, the summer stuff's also out, like camping, lots of sleeping bags, tents. I saw walking sticks and stuff. So it's crazy the kind of stuff you find at Costco. Also, um, Little Miss's birthday, she is turning seven. And this was uh, right before her birthday. So I was looking for any kind of gifts I could give her. I do like to give them some kind of book, whether it's a workbook. These are really great for just helping them to keep them kind of busy. Be like, hey, I just want you to do a couple pages in here. Or if they're struggling with a certain letter or number or something, you can have them help with that. And then these Bob books are really good as well. I have some of those that we use to help with reading. Costco just always has some really great sets, some box sets or just some really great unique books that as a homeschooling mom, I really like to just look over and it's good to know that you have those options available. Oh, squirrel. I see some of their pants here and I got some pants like last year or the year before. Not pants, I'm sorry, shorts from there and I really liked them. But these kind of have the fancy back pocket. That's not what I was looking for. So, okay, back to the books. So I like to see what kind of new books are out. Nora Roberts is good. I saw Daniel Steele. Um, I also like... Um, oh, Queen Charlotte. Guys, I literally just finished watching this on Netflix. It is so good. I definitely want the books. I think I would really enjoy them. I like those kind of books. Um, I also saw here, oh, John Grisham. That's who I was trying to think of. I enjoy his books. And then Stephen King. It looks like he's got a new book out. He's a good author as well. I enjoy his books. And then they always have some really cool cookbooks. Um, there's an Alice in Wonderland themed one. Uh, cook what you have. I'm surprised I didn't look at that. Now that I see it, I'm like, oh, that would be fun to see what's in that. It's my kind of cooking right there. But here is a big gardening book that caught my attention. And you know, you can't go wrong with books. It's always good to have books because if something happens, then you have value in books and knowledge is power, right? So it was like looking around. Here's one of all the different national parks that would really be fun to travel to. Here's some nature explorers. The boys' birthday is coming up at the end of July, so I might be able to get something like this for them. We're trying to get outside and just explore Montana and all that it has to offer. And Costco has some great books, so I, I always enjoy when I have the extra time to sit here and look through them. This animal world, it looks good as well. I like that I could get one of each for each boy because the boys are twins. A lot of you guys don't know that because my boys don't really look anything alike. It's funny that they're twins. Um, yeah, so here's a bunch of ones that if your kids are learning, like it has the ages on there and um, they're fun to thumb through. Look at Lisa Frank. I have, I had Lisa Frank when I was a kid up to 
I was obsessed with getting folders and notebooks and all the colors. Um, that would be fun to get Betty Jan into something that I was into when I was a kid. And then these workbooks caught my eye. The alphabet, there's a unicorn on the front and rainbows. Betty Jan's really into that. There's a couple of letters. She still kind of struggles to write. Um, so this would be good practice for her. And it's something that I could also share with the boys if need be. Kind of with my homeschooling, I like to have stations where some's working on writing, one's working on math, things like that. Betty Jan seems to be struggling a little more with the numbers and like writing the fives and the eights. So this one caught my eye. It has a chicken on the front. She likes chickens. And I think that would really help her with her, the numbers is working on that. And like I said, I could share it with the boys. So I decided to go ahead and get that for her. And it was only $9.99. I thought that was a good deal. Gideon's favorite character is Spidey and that's I seeing this was like oh that's something I could grab for him and they had different ones so maybe I could get one for Conrad. Conrad and Gideon are very different in their likes and what they enjoy. It's kind of interesting. And then here's a bunch of history books. This is always good to look over for her husband. He's really into all that stuff. So that was fun. I was able to pick up one gift for Betty Jan for her birthday. That was a good accomplished goal. Now I wanted to come out here and check out some of the other things they have. I have a little bit of extra time today and I have no kids so mama gonna do some browsing. Now we do have some bear spray here. <laughs> yes we are in Montana and we require bear spray and that's actually a pretty good price. I do need to start carrying mine with me when I go out and about. Um, so I don't know, do you guys have Costco's Warrior at or Sam's Club? Are there any other kind of things that you guys have that are kind of like this? They have all the different vacuum choices. I don't know, is there ever a vacuum that actually works for longer than a year? It doesn't seem to be so. Um, $500 on sale for this Dyson. That's just crazy. I mean, I know a lot of people have those. I've cleaned houses with some people that have had those and I don't know, I like a Shark brand better myself but that's just my personal preference we always could use a good vacuum though so I'm always looking for good recommendations here they have all just types of fans here's a freezer now this is a super small freezer for $200 I think that's a lot but this thing would be really great for an apartment if you have an apartment and you're trying to stock up some more Pre freezers just seem outrageous. $730? Is that normal for a freezer? I don't know. Maybe I just haven't done much adult and can haven't bought brand new appliances before, but that just seems like a crazy price. And Costco is usually a pretty good deal. And here's also a little stand-up freezer. That's another one that would be a good choice for an apartment or a small, smaller building than having a big stand-up chest freezer. So I saw that they had some printer paper and another thing is that we're always going through lots of paper by printing everything from on offline for the kids and we ran out. We also do a lot of coloring where I'll just print coloring pages instead of having lots of coloring books and stuff that they won't color. So I will print them coloring pages a lot. So we needed some more paper so I grabbed that while I was there. And then I was just kind of checking out this vacuum sealer since I got the Vever one at a cheaper price than that. And I like it better than the food saver. So I was just kind of being nosy. I got one of these tea kettles used for $7 at Goodwill, but it just broke on me, so I no longer have a tea kettle. So I will have to go back to Goodwill soon or another thrift shop and try and find a new tea kettle. Here they have a bunch of different air fryers. Those ones sit on the counter. All kinds of different options. I really like that Costco. Just carries kind of random stuff, kitchen things. Um, oh, there's one of the Ninja Speedies. You guys talk about those a lot. $100. Seems like a pretty good deal for an appliance if you're going to use it a lot. Different mixers. Ninja has a lot of different stuff. I didn't realize Ninja had such, so many different kinds of appliances. Like they had the blender. Here's a food processor. I've been considering getting a food processor. So I kind of have my eyes out for one. But I'll probably just end up getting a used one. Oh, and look at that. They happen to have a trimmer, which is what husband was wanting for Father's Day. Now, it was not, I did not plan on getting here, but it was on sale for $35. He had just told me like a day before that that's what he needed. And I was like, you know what? Convenient. So I went ahead and grabbed him that for Father's Day. That's going to make him pretty happy because he's got some long nose hairs. You know what I'm saying? I've been bugging him. 
But here's another ninja, ninja foodie. There's a blender, and then they had the food processor. So just have a lot of different options that's ninja. It's interesting watching that brand grow. There's that snapware that I have. Oh yeah, here's a pan. It's like ninja foodie never stick pan set. So it's interesting. Now they're moving on to pans. But that snapware is what I used. And I really like it a lot. Then here's a bunch of different types of pan sets. Some are just pans, some are pots, some are pots and pans, Teflon brand, all kinds of different brands based on budget wise, what you're looking for or what you want to try to achieve. Cook wise, here's a nice long griddle. Those always come in handy. Colanders are great to have. You guys call them colanders, you call them strainers. So I kind of do both. They have nice glassware if you're looking for new glassware. I don't know, I don't really have matching glasses and dishes and stuff. I kind of just get whatever, um, whatever's sale or whatever I have. I don't, I don't even know how I got the glasses I got. I think I got them used online. Here's some different office supplies. I was thinking about getting more tape. We go through a lot of tape too, but I decided not to get it at that moment. Here's those squishables. Betty Jean doesn't have one of those yet. Apparently they're good. Uh, there's computer chairs here, office chairs. They have sell mattresses here. Here are those big black totes. Um, all different types of storage things. Hangers. Something about having matching hangers like that just makes a closet work. So sometimes if you want to elevate your closet, just go from wire hangers to matching like cloth hangers like that. Here's a bunch of different carpets and mats. I love having floor carpets. Like I never really was a fan of carpet, like in the kitchen, like floor carpets, but I recently got a red set and I just absolutely love it. I love having a carpet in my kitchen. Uh, here's some candles. Uh, candles are always super expensive, but I do enjoy them. Oh, these Instacrates. I've been looking at these. You guys have those. It looks like a pretty good thing and it folds up and it looks pretty sturdy. You're always looking for more storage options. Um, I've been freeze drying stuff, so I'm looking for more storage for that, more black bins. Storage shelves are another one of those things that cost a lot up front, but you will have these for years, if not pass these down to your children, especially these super sturdy ones. So these are one of those things that are worth the investment. You need some money saved up and then go get it. And then I want to buy a lot of these black totes here and convert everything into black totes. I know a lot of people have done that, but it would be great for storage just to have them all the same size. I forgot about this summer shandy beer. This was one of my favorites. I used to drink it between that and blue moon. I used to go out by myself and have like a steak and a beer and just kind of have some alone time and that would be one of my beers of choice, especially after I had the children. I really needed that. <laughs> Lots of different beverage and entertainment options. They have different outside furniture here. Here's some big carpets, different floor carpets there for $80. Uh, summer stuff, here's some goggles. That splash pad, I think it was 20 bucks. Now it's down to $14.97, so that's a good deal. Lots of boats and life jackets, sunscreen. Summer is definitely upon us. Here is a gutter guard. Our house actually does not have gutters. Is that weird? I feel like that's weird. So I was thinking that was gutters, but it's actually gutter guard to go on already existing gutters. So that was interesting. Um, so this kind of caught my eye, the chicken shawarma. I used to live in Saudi Arabia when I was a kid and their shawarmas is one of the main things that I remember. So I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Street foods, chicken shawarma, $15 though. I'm like, eh, maybe another time it would be nice to splurge on that. And here you can make your own y gyro, 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 yes, gyro. Um, so that's cool that they sell the meat like that. I'm sure that's pretty tasty. And then I was going into the back to get the bottles of water and I just happened to notice they were prepping in the Costco kitchen there. This one is cutting up quesadillas for their packaging so that was kind of cool sneak peek. So I grabbed one case of water. We go through about one of these a month especially now that it's getting hotter. It's easier for the kids just to grab and take on bike rides with us or to grab them for the cars. So I've been grabbing 
at least one case while I'm there. Plus, it's only four dollars. You guys see these dog launchers? Those are really awesome. My dad has those. He has four dogs, so he has them for those, and he just loves that. Those balls can fly. Now, I was going to head down the detergent and cleaning aisle, but I don't really need anything. I don't need to stock up on anything, so I decided just to bypass that. They do have a lot of their sale items here in the center on in these caps here so I kind of just scroll through and see what's on sale if it's anything I could use or something I've been wanting to try um, they have some you know big coolers there on display it did not seem they had the sample station up and running I was a little disappointed not going to lie now I was eyeballing these craft single cheese the American cheese but I said not to because I hate the individually wrapped ones they do sell a big block of American cheese but mainly the only cheese I needed today was some cheddar cheese I forgot last month and then I ran out and that is unacceptable so I'm gonna make sure I grab it this time and in fact I'm going to be grabbing two blocks of it the medium cheddar seems to be the best price and budget and I don't really mind what flavor of cheese as long as I have some cheese in there I was considering getting some pepper jack but that's all right two things of American two things of mild cheddar jack cheese two things of mild cheddar cheese will get us through plus some so I was happy to grab that um, I was debating some of this pepper jack cheese, but decided not to. I'll wait till I have something specific in mind that I would like to cook to get that. And then they have lots of pre-sliced cheeses as well for like sandwich and stuff. Telemonk's a pretty good brand and they have good varieties. And then I just saw this Crystal Light for $8.99, 60 packets worth for like a bottle of water and I don't really drink much besides coffee and water and I was wanting something a little sweet so I decided to splurge a bit and get myself a pack of crystal lights so I've been having their lemonades and it is really good so I'm glad I took the time to get myself a little something like a little thing of lemonade and you guys have been bugging me to try this Kerrygold butter so I did I grabbed it it's two pounds of butter for $15 We'll see how good it is. I did try it on some homemade biscuits I made, and let me tell you, it's pretty darn good. So I'm glad I got it, but I definitely am not going to be getting a, a lot to use for baking and stuff. Now, heavy whipping cream is officially under $10 again, which is a good deal, but I don't need any at this time, so I'm going to go past that. We go through one of these things of half a half a week. So since I'm trying to get stocked up for one month, I went ahead and got four of them. They keep for a long time in the fridge. And I just grabbed the box with it and put the barcode facing out so it'd be easier for the cashier to scan pretty quickly. I always look to see what kind of yogurts are on sale. Yogurt our family likes and I can throw it into husband's lunch pretty well, but none of them, none of the good ones were on sale anyway. Uh, Starbucks creamer that's the first time I've seen that in there now this cream cheese I get the Costco brand I look at the price per ounce and it is a lot cheaper than this other brand and the Philadelphia brand and I'm pretty happy with the Costco cream cheese so I grabbed one of those we've been going through them with just using bagels and baking and stuff I'm looking at the milk prices. Our milk prices change depending on the fat content. Is that something that goes for you guys as well? It seems like the whole milk or the fatter the milk, the higher fat content, the more expensive it is. Now here I'm just looking to see if there's anything on sale. Uh, I did see some of these sausage patties. I used to get those a lot back when I had food stamps, which was a long three years ago. Um, and I miss those. I don't get them anymore. I just kind of went without. But for $15 and it's three pounds and they're pretty easy to just throw in a skillet. I decided to take it easy on myself and grab one of these for some future meals and just to have in my freezer for quick fixes. I also like those corn dogs, but I did not get those at this time. The pot pies too, those are good. I need to start making some homemade pot pies. Also, if I get chicken nuggets, this is where I get them from, $15 for the dino nuggets. Um, I don't need any of those right now though. The chicken wings I got last time and I still have some in my freezer, so I'm glad I grabbed two of those while they were on sale. And here's some more chicken nuggets. You can see that price per unit was 3.1 and this one's 2.9. So it's actually cheaper to get the dino shaped nuggets than get the regular ones, which is interesting. These chicken tenders caught my eye. I've never noticed them before, but they were 50% off, 750. 
for is that a three pound bag and I thought that was a really good deal for pre-cooked chicken tenders that you just heat up so I grabbed that as an option for the kids if we need something fast or if I'm gone husband has that in the freezer as an option I like to have these easy meal options I don't use them all the time but they're very nice to have in there and it kind of eases my mind knowing that I have them as a backup and we don't have to spend any money eating out because we know we all have those days where we just don't feel like cooking. So it's good to have some freezer options for you. And this pizza caught my eye as well because I do order pizza is probably my biggest splurge. If I am going to order out, I just have husband pick up pizza. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get some frozen pizzas to have in the freezer. It's mostly for the kids anyway I'm cooking for them and then I can find something. So I just decided to stick with that and I got a pack of those $14 for four of them doesn't seem too bad and they're pretty loaded with pepperoni so a lot of pre-frozen meals here some noodles burritos I used to live off those before I became a mom I love those burritos taquitos we still get those sometimes to have as a backup um, here's some frozen tacos lots of different choices they always have tons of different crackers as well with it being party season, barbecue season, I'm sure they're going through lots of crackers for like appetizers and dips and stuff. I will sometimes get the Cheez-Its. If Betty Jan's with me at Costco, she convinced me to get the Cheez-Its all the time. <laughs> so, but she was not here today, so I skipped the Cheez-Its. Lots of different ice cream choices. I do wanna get some ice cream or possibly make some popsicles for the kids because it is gonna be getting hot. Um, I'll probably prefer to make my own so that way I can control the ingredients. Do you guys have any molds that you guys like for popsicles? And of course we had to get coffee. I like to get two per month. We go through about one a month, I would say, maybe one every three weeks. So I like to get two just to make sure I have a backup and that way I can get a nice stockpile of coffee because definitely one thing I don't wanna be running out of is coffee. So that's one thing I do need to start improving on my stockpile list. And then a bunch of different frozen fruits on that side, which I'm not really looking at the frozen fruits. So I kind of skip those. I'll look if maybe if they have them on sale, but for the most part, I don't really get too much frozen fruit. Oh, here's a instant coffee pouch. See, they always have new stuff at Costco. That's why it's always fun getting there. You never know what, they're, what they might have. I do want to get some of their maple syrup. It looks like it went up $13. I don't remember it being that expensive. I was thinking it was like 11, maybe 11.99, so it might have gone up a dollar, which is a lot. And then noticing the bread aisle, I was thinking about getting some more tortillas. I really did enjoy having those. I do have lots that I need to make though, and you guys have told me it's pretty easy to do, and I have some masa flour that I need to get used up. So I might do that. Now Nutella, I have never tried Nutella before. Is that am I? Is that a crime? Um, I hear it's really good. I have never got it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it worth getting? Should I introduce it to my family? I haven't done it yet, but I hear it's pretty darn good. Oh my gosh, Mama feeding a baby in the store. I love it so much. Making my ovaries hurt over here. And there's the tortillas. Now, I got them when they were on sale for $4.99, so they're not on sale anymore. And I was debating it. I'm like, man, I like tortillas. I was like, but, you know, I really should cook the ones I have. Do you guys do that? You ever, like, grab something, put it close to the car, put it back? Like, uh, I don't know. I can't make up my mind. This is probably why you should have a shopping list. But I like to just look stuff over and kind of come up with dishes as I see what's on sale. So that's why I decided not to get those because they weren't on sale. And I was like, eh, next time. Now these I did grab because I like to keep these peanut, they're pretzels filled with peanut butter. Oh, it's so good. I like to keep those in the car for like a snack. So when kids are hungry, hungry, whatever, just pass around the container of peanut butter pretzels and that kind of takes the edge off so we don't have to buy anything until we get home. So I grabbed one of those. I don't need to get any chips or the kid chips. I was thinking of those pork rinds. I thought those would be good. I do like pork rinds, but I'm the only one who would eat them. I don't know, I guess the kids might. I think they're spicy though. So I don't want to get a big old bag because then I'd be forced to eat it, you know, and I don't want to have to do that. So I've decided to skip the pork rinds, but I might get them eventually. 
And then chip-wise, we don't really get chips too often, but we really enjoy these bag of chips the last time I got them. It was a nice little treat, and they did not last, but as soon as they were gone, they were gone, and I did not buy any more until this current Costco trip. So I decided to get another one. That's a nice little treat for a husband. He really enjoys having some snacks. And, you know, he works hard, so I try and think of him when I'm out shopping and stuff that he would enjoy. I don't need any oils or fats right now. I have plenty of that. Haha, <laughs> plenty of fat on me. I don't need to get any more, right? And then I just wanted to stop and look at these bouquets of flowers. They're so beautiful. I don't have flowers enough, that's for sure. But one of the things that the kids do do is they come and anytime they see a flower, they bring me in. It's super sweet. So I thought I'd come down here and just look at the dry foods, kind of see what's available. They have lots of macaroni, Velveeta, um, those homestyle potatoes are pretty darn good. This is a lot of the pre-packaged, ready to eat, just heat up food. There's a ReadyWise emergency food storage or emergency food. I've heard that was okay. I have a couple from there that I haven't tried yet. And then some spam. This is where I got the spam that I tried. to recently did a live where I tried spam for the first time. I can link that below if you want to see that. And then this pepperoni caught my eye. It was only $11, and I really don't get pepperoni too often. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I can make some fun pizza dishes and stretch out this pepperoni. So decided to be crazy and get some pepperoni. Now here's a couple more of the bulk items. Here's the pasta sauces you can get, which are really good. That Rayo's brand's pretty darn good. But Kirkland brand's good as well. I don't mind them. And you can reuse those jars if you're into doing that. So here's a bunch of the different pastas they have available. They have organic. They got different colored ones. The pharmacies over there. I was thinking about this nacho cheese. I was like, man, is that something... I don't know, looking at that ingredient list, it doesn't look too bad, but, and I've seen people recan this cheese into smaller containers, so I'm like, mm, maybe someday. Sometimes I just like to think of projects. If I see it, maybe I can do it someday, but I don't want to do it at this current time. And that's about it for this aisle. I don't need any pastas. Sometimes I see those egg noodles at the food bank, so that was fun to kind of see where they originate from. And then down here is the pharmacy and the hygiene items like that so shampoo and conditioner i'm not picky about what i use for my hair at all honestly i buy what's on sale it's usually the Kirk kirkland brand i do notice however that pantene pro v will make my head itchy so i haven't used them for a couple of years um, but there's like deodorant here but i'm just kind of looking around seeing if there's any vitamins on sale or if there's any medicine sometimes if i notice that something's limited i might grab it if it's something that we use because that's kind of a sign to me that people might be taking it if there's a limit to it you know not taking it but buying a lot of it I did notice this Excedrin and I've been getting headaches. It's always good to have medicine and I've actually already broke into this so I'm glad that I bought it. $18 seems like a, a lot but that'll probably last us months if not more. Um, see like right here how I was talking about this please note limit one and that's on the children's Tylenol so I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of those because it's good to have um, and better stock up now before it becomes flu season or whatever and I like to have Tylenol on hand for them. Didn't really notice anything else in particular that I was going to need. I did see these vitamins and for $11 for two big bottles of vitamins for the kids I think is a good deal. 160 vitamins in each bottle. Alrighty, I am all done. Let's go try and check out. And I'm back. Alright, I got everything loaded. Dun, 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 dun wasn't too bad spent a total to 66.95 now that includes ten dollars for the copy paper thirty five dollars for a husband's nose trimmer <laughs> and uh so that's probably all i'm gonna get him too i'll get him that and then i'll make him like biscuits and gravy for breakfast for father's day but that's including that gift for him and then 11 bucks for gummies or for um vitamin gummies so, like I said, it kind of adds up. My budget is usually four to five hundred dollars per month strictly for any other things besides bills. So that includes groceries, homeschooling supplies, gifts, and or treats. So that's why I really try and shop the sales and incorporate stuff into my meal planning based on what's on sale. So 
I think we did pretty good. Got Betty Jan a gift, got husband a gift, got some more copy paper. So let's go pick up the kids and then we'll head home. place I tell you guys about. That's where we drop the kids off and they can watch them for a couple hours if we need to run some errands. So let's go get them. Nice. Can we open this Halloween book? What Halloween book? Oh, pretzels! Pretzels! Yeah, I got pretzels. Yeah, that's for you for your birthday, baby. You okay? I see pretzels! Yeah, pretzels are for the, the van. Yeah, I got it for your birthday. Oh, dang it, you weren't supposed to see it. I forgot. Well, happy birthday! Uh, well, well, you, well, you, you put it, you should have put it in the bedroom spot where I could have put I it. I know, I could be darn it. Maybe yeah. you should have hide it in the foot. Maybe? Oh, that was a good idea. Alright. Now, I, what are you doing? A giant! I thought Betty was going to be in front today. I want to be in the front. Yeah, you sit in the back. What happened? You guys have fun at the food bank? Yes. What'd you do? Hey, happy birthday! Happy birthday! You make puppets? Yeah. Hey, do you have fun? And this was supposed to be for my birthday, but Mama, you never did. I forgot. <laughs> Dang it. Well, happy early birthday. How old Mama, are you going to be? Papa, what are you going to say to me? I was going to say, can you come say hi? Hi! Yeah. Did you have fun at the food bank? Yeah? Yes. You brought your Easter eggs with you? Yes. You put them in a sock. Nice. Oh. All right, well, let's head home and get unloaded. Guys, look at all this food we got. We got breakfasts, lunches, additional lunches for the weekend, and empower packs. Holy moly. You want it already? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming shopping with me. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time on Mama Bird's.